Hello everyone and welcome to a special Sims 4 video today. We're going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial. Some of you have been fans of my reality show series for quite a while and you may be asking, hey Odilon, I want to know how to make one myself in The Sims 4. Now, I have made a video about this in the past. You can check it out. It's going to be on screen right now. But a lot of the details in that video have to be updated. It's now 2024, baby. I made that video six years ago. There's been so many changes. It's so much easier to host your own reality show in The Sims 4, whether that's Survivor, Big Brother, or anything else that you wish to create. So I'm going to go over everything that you need. Feel free to use the chapter stuff down in the description or in the video itself to skip to the part that you specifically want. But we're going to get started by talking about the mods you need, what kind of Sims you should be creating for these series, things to avoid when making your own reality shows, and so much more. If you need ideas for challenges or twists or anything of that sort, you can check out my full playlist of all of my amazing reality shows that I've made in The Sims 4. I've been doing this for a long time. We're currently working on, I think, our ninth or 10th season of reality shows. We're working on a YouTuber version of The Traders, so look forward to that. But Let's get into this video. So you may be wondering yourself, how do you make a household that has so many Sims in it to do a reality show? Well, the first thing you're gonna wanna download is MCC. This is a very powerful mod. It basically does the job of like 20 different mods. Definitely recommend it. Always check to see if there is an update for it whenever a new update to The Sims 4 comes out. This one, um, as of this video, I think was last updated in February of 2024. You'll wanna download this version right here. Anything that says MC Command Center, that is what's gonna be super important. There is another mod though that you're going to want in order to create an automated reality show series. Let's get into that mod. So next up, you're gonna need the UI Cheats extension. Now this one, you're definitely going to wanna make sure is constantly updated because this can break your game if it has not been updated with the newest expansion or patch or stuff pack because the UI in the system 4 is always changing. This mod specifically allows you to adjust and fine tune all the needs of your Sims, but most importantly, it really makes it easy in order to see the relationship scores of your Sims. Highly recommend it. Go check out UI Cheats extension. You're going to need it. And with that, that pretty much covers all the mods that you're going to need for a reality show to work in The Sims 4. But I'm going to go over next how to make specific Sims for the series because you're going to want a diverse mix of Sims to make it more interesting. Here we are, you're thinking about making a reality show in The Sims 4, and you're thinking, all right, I wanna make some really cool and awesome characters. I wanna make sure I have a diverse mix of personalities and all that jazz. So here are some oh. hot tips that you're gonna want in order to make it the best show that you can possibly make. The look and feel of The Sim is completely up to you. Feel free to download any mods or a CC for the look and feel. Obviously with some of my previous incarnations of reality shows. I've got some crazy CC. Don't be afraid to like kind of go all out. I, I can't find it right now, but <laughs> believe me, it's I got some crazy stuff. We got like Freddy Krueger and uh, Predator and Xenomorph and all sorts of stuff. But what's really important is the aspiration. So you want your Sims to talk and interact as much as possible. In order to have that happen autonomously for your Sims, you're gonna wanna go to popularity and click on friend of the world. This is super important because with all the other aspirations that the Sims have, they're gonna be more focused on doing specific tasks associated with their aspiration. But when you give them friend of the world, they become much more chatty. They really wanna talk with each other. They really wanna interact with each other. And this is what is super important to have all of your Sims have if you want an autonomous game of like Survivor or Big Brother, etc. As for all the other traits, always try to get a diverse mix of traits in your Sims. I've seen some other uh, creators that make their own reality shows and they tend to give everyone the same traits and that gets very boring very quickly. I highly recommend have some hot-headed Sims. You know, have some Sims that are evil. Have some Sims that are snobs. I have ran, I think, upwards of like nine of these reality shows. And I'm telling you, even if someone is evil or mean or anything of the sort, 
they can win these shows. It has happened before in my series. They have gotten to the end. I've even had nosy Sims who are very hard to like make strong relationships with get to the finals. So do not be afraid about what traits you choose and make them as diverse as possible. Other than that, that pretty much covers the Sim creation portion of this video. We're now gonna get into the actual mods itself how do you get a larger than life household in order to run a show like this? Let's go. So we have loaded into my horror big brother uh, build. Um, as you can see, I already have more than eight Sims in this household. And I'll show you exactly how I did that and how you can do it yourself. I'm also gonna show you how you can like kick people out and things to avoid all that jazz. But first and foremost, whenever you make a lot, you're gonna need enough beds for everybody. So just make sure you go through you have enough living spaces, you have enough restrooms, you have enough whatever you need, because when the Sims get grumpy, it gets messy. Hey, and you might want messy. Messy can be interesting, but you know, just a fair warning. If you're gonna run your challenges also, I highly recommend that you have a lot or a space on your uh, venue that can have a ceiling. And this is super important because there are certain items that only work outdoors and certain items that only work inside. So have a space that you can um, accommodate for whether it's outdoors or indoors, whatever you need, just be aware of that. In order to really make this work though, you're going to need a computer. I think I have a computer already up here. Okay, I do. So you'll wanna go into your shop menu, go grab a computer and plop that baby down because you are gonna need it in order to summon Sims to your lot. So when you get on the computer, you're gonna click it, you're gonna go to MC Command Center. This should pop up. If you don't have this, that means that you have not properly downloaded and installed MCCC. So make sure to go download MC Command Center, the mod, make sure it's working. If this option right here, this little Deadpool symbol doesn't show up, you have not properly installed the mod and you you're gonna have to troubleshoot to figure out why it's not working you're gonna click that and you're gonna see a ton of different options here you can really get into the nitty-gritty and really mod your game and do some pretty wild stuff with mc command center but i'm going to show you what is most important specifically for the series specifically for um, increasing the household size you're going to be focused on the MCC settings here at the very top. You're going to click that. You're going to go down to gameplay settings and you're going to go down to maximum household size. I have mine currently set to 16. You technically can have this up to 104 Sims. I don't recommend it unless you have a very powerful computer. Just letting you know, this will put some stress on your computer. If you have more than eight Sims, it really will get your, your computer going. Do not recommend doing this on like a laptop or anything like that. You really should have a standing computer if you're gonna be doing something like this. But you're gonna change this value to however many Sims you want inside of your household. Then you're gonna push okay and it should save the setting. Just be warned that with MC Command Center, if you mess with any of the settings in here, it can dramatically break your game or dramatically change your game. If you ever need to re um, like reset anything, there is a reset settings tool at the very bottom. Highly recommend it if things get too uh, wiry or crazy. So now that you have adjusted the household size, you can now start summoning Sims onto the lot. Now I'm just going to do this as an example. We have back here my mailbox. So you are going to click your mailbox, go to MC Cheats. You're going to go down to Sims and PC Household Cheats. You're going to go down to Summon Sim, and there's several different ways. You can either list the exact name of the Sims. You're going to need their first and last name spelled correctly with proper capitalization in order for them to get summoned to the lot. Otherwise, you can just list all the Sims, and this literally lists every Sim in existence on this. Even dead Sims, Sims that are homeless, Sims that don't have a place. Um, I'm gonna summon, let's summon Valak from our series. Terrifying, I know. <laughs> so you'll see up here, it says Valak none will be right over. Okay, so now you hit the play button and Valak should show up momentarily. All right, so Valak has shown up. So say I wanted Valak to join the family. I have increased the household size to 16. So now I'm going to click Valak. Oops, I forgot. There is something specific for mods. There is clicking, which shows you your normal menu. And then there is shift clicking. So shift and then click 
actually pulls up very interesting choices. This is only if you have like MCC or mods added into the game, I believe. I could be wrong about that. You're gonna see this option specifically, add to family. You're gonna click add to family and voila, Valak is now officially part of the household here. Now Valak does not bring over, I believe any money or anything of that, um, anything that would come over from a household. It is literally just the Sim themselves. All right, so now that Valak is in the household, I can literally control them. I can get rid of any actions that she might have. She's just walking around. I have full control over this Sim now. You're gonna rinse and repeat this with every single Sim that you want to add it into your household. So now that we have kind of covered how you get a proper size to your uh, reality show that you want to run in The Sims 4, I'm now gonna go over some things you're going to want to avoid because they can and they will mess up your game. Like I said at the beginning of this video, make sure to check out all of my prior seasons of my reality shows if you want any cool immunity challenge or any kind of just basically any challenge ideas. Um, I've got a ton that you can pull from and a ton that you can pick from. Um, a lot of them do require a lot of different expansions or stuff packs in order to, for them to properly run, but there are some in the main game that without any expansions that you can properly run yourself as well. Some things that you're going to want to avoid though. Having this many Sims in a household will lead to some pretty wild things to happen. The first is sickness. For some reason, The Sims thought it was a really good idea to add sickness into the game. Every single season I have ever run of these reality shows, someone is bound to get sick. So what I fully recommend is before you even start, you go to that computer that you've spawned in, which I would recommend Get rid of this computer once you run the show. Do not have computers. You can have TVs, but honestly, I would um, not add too many into a household because your Sims tend to default to computers and TVs when they're trying to have fun. And what we want is for them to have interactions that involve multiple Sims because we want them to uh, be able to build relationships. So like a ping pong table or a chess board or some other way that they can have fun that involves other Sims. You're gonna click this computer. You're gonna go over to more choices. You're gonna click order. You're gonna order medicine. Order as much as you can of this stuff. <laughs> Highly recommend it. You're gonna use a lot of it. Now, the thing is, the only way for you to know if a Sim is getting sick now, there might be a way to get rid of sickness. There probably is an MC Command Center. Feel free to play around at MC Command Center if you want to try and completely get rid of sickness. I tend to not mess with MC Command Center too much because when you have as many mods in CC as I do, the game is already glitchy enough. So I try not to um, default to using mods and cheats if I need to in order to run these shows. So whenever you see a Sim sneezing or showing uh, signs and symptoms of sickness, make sure to give that person some medicine. Um, what's really neat about The Sims is when you have UI cheats mod, you'll see these moodlets over here. If you see any negative moodlets that come about from like a sickness or something that may affect the game, you can actually just right click on the specific trait and it will get rid of that trait specifically for that Sim. Now, if you wanna film a sim doing a specific thing or having a specific mood, you can actually go into MC Command Center and you can actually spawn in specific traits or behaviors or whatever. I honestly don't know it off the top of my head. You can play around, like I said, in MC Command Center. You can look up specific guides on how to spawn in certain emotions. You can toy with these sims quite a bit if you want to fine tune their emotions for like a specific scene or a specific shot that you're looking for. My next tip is to avoid music or anything that has a speaker system or anything when you're running a reality show. For some reason, and I don't know why The Sims has not fixed this, whenever uh, Sims are dancing together or they are listening to music together, their relationship score skyrockets. I don't know why this is still an issue in The Sims. It is a very quick way to build a relationship with someone is to have a conversation while listening to music. To my knowledge, this still has not been fixed. It can incredibly uh, mess with the relationship scores in your reality show series, so just be aware of that. And always be prepared for disasters that can come out from fires or 
Anything that can kill these Sims, it will happen. Just be prepared for it. Hopefully that covers everything that you needed to know in order to run a reality show in The Sims 4. Like I said, I am hard at work at the ninth or 10th season of my uh, reality show series. We're working on a YouTuber version of The Traders. So if you are looking forward to that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, I have a lot of fun making reality shows in The Sims 4. And if you have your very own reality show in The Sims 4, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to check it out. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you have any more questions, please put them in the comments down below. I'll try to answer your questions. And thank you all so much for the love and support. And I'll see you in the next video. And until then, stay awesome, stay beautiful, you lovely people. Bye-bye.